China's highest profile brand is becoming the country's biggest target in the trade war with the United States. Tech giant Huawei is losing access to Google apps like Gmail and Chrome. Thomas Daig tells us what that could mean for Huawei smartphone users here in Canada. Always been making a big push in Canada to try to sm sell its smartphones. You may have seen the ads on the sides of buses or, or the billboards. This is only going to make it harder for that company, uh, knowing that it's going to be just about impossible in the long run for Huawei to keep running those popular Google apps such as uh, Gmail and YouTube, and indeed Google's proprietary version of Android, which is, by the way, the most widely used smartphone operating system in the world. So if you have a Huawei smartphone, uh, you're not going to lose access to YouTube or Google security updates today or tomorrow. Google may be severing ties with Huawei, but that's really only going to come into effect when Google releases new software, such as the new version of Android, which is expected uh, later this year. This is really going to affect new Huawei phones later down the line. Now, this morning, Huawei is saying we're going to continue to build a, a safe and sustainable uh, software ecosystem. Their words, uh, what that sounds like is uh, Huawei is going to be ramping up development of its own software so it can shun Google altogether, Natasha. Um, this incredibly popular Chinese brand is constantly in the headlines, whether it's issues around national, international security or spying or its ongoing conflicts with both the United States and Canada. Um, we're always talking about it. So, but what was behind the move from Google? This is directly due to a move by the Trump administration last week to add Huawei to a blacklist of companies accused of posing a security threat to Americans. Huawei, of course, has repeatedly stressed that its devices do not pose a security threat, that it is not in cahoots with the Chinese government, but um, questions persist. Now, overnight, Google said it uh, would comply with the move. Here is the statement from Google regarding the U.S. administration's uh, move. We assure you, uh, while we are complying with all U.S. government requirements, services like Google Play and security from Google Play Protect will keep functioning on your existing Huawei device. Uh, now, cybersecurity is the official reason, but of course the backdrop to all this, Natasha, is the trade dispute between the U.S. and China, the world's two biggest economies, and this could very well end up having an impact on consumers of those Huawei electronics in Canada as well. Thomas Daig reporting from London.